Hello everyone. Hope you are studying well for the coming PWD exams. And uh, I am here to make two big announcements. One is regarding SSJ notification. And another one is we are organizing a live session tomorrow in YouTube. So first I will be discussing about the live session. So tomorrow at 10.30, that is 4th October, Sunday 10.30, we are organizing a live session for you guys. And our guest will be KPSC 2016 first rank holder, Mr. Anup Kanauj. And currently he is working as assistant executive engineer in urban development department, Davan Gere. So be available during that time and you can ask the questions whatever you have regarding the technical things like regarding any subjects, how to prepare and all. So again I am repeating, it's at 10.30 tomorrow, 10.30, 4th October, Sunday. And the next information what I wanted to share is regarding SSE JE notification. So some of you might be already aware that just two to three days ago, SSE has notified for various posts through SSE JE exam. And now I will be discussing about the important dates. So here application has already begun. That is you will be able to apply for this particular exam from 1st October to 30th October. And fee payment, one day relaxation they have given that is till November 1st you can do for online payment. And for generation of the offline channel you have been given till 3rd November. And payment through channel in bank, it is till 5th November. And exam dates are also announced, remember. So as you know, SEC JE paper is conducted in two stages. That is prelims and mains. In prelims, it will be CBT test, that is computer based online test. And exam dates are already announced. That is from 22nd to 25th March 2021. So Nenpitori date, 22nd to 25th March 2021. And regarding paper 2, the dates are not yet notified. They will be notified shortly. So this is about dates. Now, what is the fee for this application? For general merit students and for a OBC, the fee is 100 rupees. And for SEST, then physically handicapped. And for all category female candidates, the application fee is zero. And it is clearly mentioned in the notification key we encourage female candidates to apply for this position okay so that is why even i am urging you so girls apply for this notification it is very very good central level government job where the salary starts from 35400 rupees for freshers okay and regarding vacancies because whenever we come to know about any notification first we want to know how many no vacancies are there but the vacancies are not yet notified now they will be notified shortly and detail about posts so which are the various posts now you can see here all together 19 positions or 19 different departments they have called the first one is and this notification is for civil mechanical and electrical also the first position is junior engineer civil so the department is border roads organization ministry of defense so what is the educational qualification needed for this you can be a be in civil engineer or if you are a diploma degree holder then you need to have two years experience in planning execution maintenance of civil engineering works okay in some of the departments they are asking only diploma in some of them they are asking for engineering also and in some of them they are asking diploma plus uh, experience so for detailed notification it is of around 60 pages it is been uploaded in our website which is www.sandpoint.co.in you can go through the website you can download it it is mentioned in english only go through that all the details like how to fill the form each and every detail is mentioned in the notification okay so similarly there are 19 other departments you can go through them now what is the age limit for this so as on 1st january 2021 the upper age limit which is being given for this notification is 30 to 32 years some of the departments they are having the age limit of 30 years and some of the departments they are having the upper age limit of 32 years okay for general merit and if you see SEST they have given 5 years relaxation OBC they have given 3 years relaxation and physically handicapped PWD and all they have given different age relaxations 
okay now coming to the pattern of the paper so as i mentioned the paper is conducted in two stages if you qualify paper one then only you will be eligible for paper two and in this exam there is no interview just the document verification is there there is no any interview remember that and the paper one has two sections section a and section b so what does this first section has it is having general intelligence and reasoning that is completely your mental ability and aptitude atenantivala so that portion so 50 questions will be there and the total marks will be 50 that is one mark per question and it is also having general awareness so what are the different subjects considered in general awareness whatever you are preparing in pwd that is physics chemistry biology history geography polity current affairs all these subjects are included in general awareness which is again asked for 50 marks and 50 questions will be there that is one mark question and it is having negative marking remember that 0.25 marks and no calculator is allowed for this paper either digital calculator or manual or electronic calculator whatever you say is not allowed for paper one okay and the second section of this paper one is your technical subjects either it can be civil engineering that is the first section whatever i have told 100 marks it is common for civil mechanical electrical and part b only mechanical students will be writing mechanical civil paper students will be writing civil paper so you are having various civil engineering subjects i'll be discussing further and the number of questions will be 100 and the total marks will be 100 in this and the first section is of two hours second section is of two hours okay so hope this is clear now once you qualify this paper one again they will give you some time to prepare for paper two so which is descriptive so it is not online name the manual question paper that is offline paper will be there that is paper test so which is of completely civil engineering only and calculator is allowed in this and this exam is for two hours and it is of two three hundred marks and the exam centers in our karnataka are belagami bangalore hubali gulbarga mangalore mysore shivamogga and udupi so you can apply for any of these exam centers now coming to paper syllabus so what is the syllabus for civil engineering so part a whatever i was saying so it is for building materials estimation surveying soil mechanics then hydraulics fluid mechanics irrigation transportation environmental engineering structural subjects like rcc steel som this is for civil engineering and coming to mechanical engineering you are having theory of machines machine design engineering mechanics strength of materials thermodynamics and its applications fluid mechanics so these are the technical subjects which you are having in technical paper okay so what we personally feel is the students in karnataka are not serious about sac je exam as well as rrb exam mostly you are not aware of this exam or you are not serious about this exam but this is also a very good opportunity okay as they will be calling almost once in a year this notification will come almost once in a year and there is no interview in this so do not panic like uh, whatever the scare you are having with respect to interview do not worry just you if you qualify prelims then you will be writing mains and once you pass the mains exam then straight away draw document verification and you will be given the appointment and the position given here is je so now what i want to say is whatever the subjects you are preparing for pwd now for current pwd which is for 2020 pwd ae syllabus some of the subjects are there here but if you prepare for entire kpsc so if you prepare that kpsc then you can write all these exams very easily because subjects remains the same all the technical subjects all the general study subjects remain same so whenever the student is preparing for any competitive exam you just keep pwd in your mind and you will be having certain doubts about pwd exam regarding exams pattern of the exam or interview whatever the issues you are having but if you prepare if you feel yourself like yes ultimately end of the day i want to be a government engineer so for that prepare all the civil engineering exams uh, subjects as kpsc syllabus and general studies as well you can write rrb exam sac je exam all other exams very easily 
okay so this is what i wanted to share and again i am reminding you tomorrow at 10:30 we will be live along with kpsc first rank student 2016 okay all the best